chores. We brought in the horses. We got them in all nice and warm in the dry barn. They are enjoying their hay. And I got to brushing Miss Lola. And Miss Miracle Baby decided to start kicking. And yes, I say Miss, because I'd really like a filly right now. And, well, I'd like a healthy baby, but a filly would be really nice. So, I got brushing, and the baby started kicking and rolling and playing around. So I took a little video for you guys. So I'm here with Lola. Brought her in for the day so that she can dry off from being outside, but the baby's moving around a little bit and I thought I'd show you guys. I'm not sure if you can see really well, but if you look at her belly, you can see it starts to move. The baby will give a little kick out. He's gonna play shy now. Did you enjoy that? I'm so excited for this baby to be here, and I will keep you guys along for the ride. Hopefully, we'll be around for the birthing, and you guys will get to see it all. So, you may be wondering why I called Lola's baby the Miracle Baby. Well, some of you may know, and some of you may not, but last October, we just about lost Lola. She severely colicked on us. It was not a fun procedure. Uh, we had the vet out twice. They thought we were going to lose her. We ended up putting her on the trailer and sending her to OVC. And I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm not a millionaire. Surgery was just not in the budget, so I was praying to everyone that I could that we wouldn't have to go to surgery and she would survive without it. But as you all know, she's still here today. Anyway, um, the doctor said we would have lost the foal had it not been for a weird, um, how would you put it? Weird circumstance during the whole thing. And so she ended up having a very low heart rate during the whole catastrophe. And she should have had a very high heart rate, which would have caused the fetus to go into stress. And because her heart rate stayed so low, our little baby had no idea there was anything wrong. And so it just stayed in its little ball and enjoyed life without ever thinking that anything could go wrong. So there was this little nerve called the vagus nerve, which was being pulled on. And it's not a good thing. However, it was a good thing in Lola's baby's case because because the vagus nerve was being pulled on, the heart rate stayed so low that the baby had no idea there was any stress. She managed to come through. She's alive and kicking today, as is the baby. And we're super excited in the next month or so to welcome the newest addition to the family. So if you guys wanna stay tuned for more updates and keep watching, hopefully we'll catch the foaling on camera, then subscribe below to Stride to Harmony and uh, watch for updates on Instagram as well at Stride to Harmony. And uh, we'll see you guys later.